Salam and welcome. So today's lesson is about how can I test the presence of this group in my compound. Yeah, this is my target. I just want to make a test and this test will help me to identify whether I have this group or not. Which means that I'm dealing with ketones and aldehydes. Okay, so how can I deal with such tests and what will be the observations, what are the reagents, the condition? And uh, let's take a real example for, let's say, CH3, CH2, C double bond, CH3. Okay. So first of all, we just noticed that I have this group. Okay, I have this group. So the test that I'm going to make is testing this group. So I will add alkaline solution of iodine, which is I2 and a presence of NaOH. Okay, and it's aqueous. Okay, and actually we have to apply heat. Okay, and then we will have a, a compound. The only thing that will happen in this case, iodine is a halogen. It will replace the hydrogens in methyl group. So the compound will look like uh, CH3, CH2, C double bond, CI3. Okay, so as we can see, the compound that we have is CI3, hydrogens are replaced by iodine atom. And then we made another reaction, which is hydrolysis. We add hydrolysis in the presence of NaOH. Okay, and this is aqueous for sure. And by the way, uh, as we can see, this is hydrolysis reaction. The product that we will have is CH3, CH2, C double bond, O N A, we have a plus and negative plus C H I three. Okay, the C H I three is yellow precipitate. So once you have the functional group, or let's say this group in here, then you will have the observation of yellow precipitate. So this indicates that your material contains C double bond and methyl. And now let's go to the second part. It says that once you have this group and you can make a test for this, you will have the observation of yellow precipitation. But it's not the only group. I mean, do I have another group that I can change it to this one here and then do, do the test? Yeah, sure. So, the group that we have, CH3, CH, OH, which means that the OH here is on the second carbon. I mean, it looks like this, CH3, CH, and it has OH in here. Okay, so you notice that we can change this into C double bond O. Oh, okay, and you just remember this process is oxidation. So, we can take a compound that contains alcohol and this alcohol is in the second carbon and it has methyl group beside okay so let's go and take that in a real example CH OH CH2 CH3 and then we're going to make oxidation okay but the oxidation process in this case is done by adding alkaline iodine solution. So we add I2 in the presence of NaOH aqueous, okay? And then we make oxidation process. So as a result of the oxidation, you will have CH3. Put in your mind, this is secondary alcohol. It will change to ketone. And we will have C double bond, CH2, CH3, okay? And now we just want to repeat the same parts again. We will add another amount of I2 and NaOH, alkaline iodine solution. Okay? 
and then uh, we will have this group will change to okay suitable bond ch2 ch3 and then we just made another hydrolysis process hydrolysis in the presence of naoh and then we will have this compound ch i3 plus ch3 ch2 c double bond o and a so this compound which is called tri iodo methane so the yellow precipitate the yellow precipitate is called triiodomethane guys who don't know we can test the melting point of a triiodomethane okay to check its purity okay so melting point is indication about the purity of your compound my question is which pairs of compounds may be distinguished by testing alkaline aqueous iodine so first of all you have a butanol and a butanol I have to draw the structure of each one here and for butanol it's aldehyde then it uh, it's ended up with C double bond H and then we have four carbons we have CH2 CH2 CH3 then we have uh, butanol and a butanol indicates that you have a ketone and you have CH3 C double bond CH2 CH3 okay so according to what you have do we have C double bond CH3 in one of these compounds and let's have a look actually for um for the butanone yeah we noticed that we have this it will give a positive test it will give yellow precipitate okay what about this we don't have that so we can distinguish between the two pairs by the iodine test so this is okay we can make a test and we can distinguish it will give yellow precipitate but for this, we will have no yellow precipitate. Pin tan two on and pin tan three all. So how can I deal with such one? Okay. So if, first of all, you have to draw the structure. The pentanone indicates that you have ketone, and it looks like this. Um, C H three. C double bond CH2. This is the third carbon, fourth carbon, and this is the fifth carbon. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five carbons. And then we have pentanol, which is alcohol that is composed of uh, five carbons and it has the OH group as the third carbon. We have CH3, CH2, CHOH. This is the third fourth and this is the fifth carbon okay so if you just look at this one here and this okay the first look that you have in the first one you notice that you have this group so this group will give you yellow precipitate okay when it reacts with alkaline iodine solution but here you have oh group yeah but if i oxidize the oh what will you have you will have ch3 CH2, C double bond O, and CH2, CH3. In this case, you don't have that group. You have a C double bond with ethyl. So you won't have the yellow precipitate in this case. So in this case, this compound won't give you a precipitate, whereas the first one will give, so I can distinguish between the two pairs and everything is okay and happy.